Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and I'm sorry I've been gone so long. We've had um, a family emergency in my home and I would like to ask for prayer or thoughts or whatever you do. Um, my son had a routine colonoscopy for Crohn's disease um, and they perforated his bowel. He had to go into emergency surgery and it was just very scary. He is healing and doing well now um so far but i would ask that you would please just pray or think about him um his name is corey and he's only 22 years old so but um like i said he is healing and doing well but i just want him to continue doing well but anyways that's why i have not been on for a while so we're going to come back today with a really easy fun uh, beginner friendly uh, project and this is actually this could be anything that you want it to be um, but my thought behind this is a scarf now this is just a um, tiny scarf that I'm showing you here um, but this could be made also into beautiful placemats for your table it could be anything you can think of um, the stitch itself anyways but the way I've left the tassels on and everything I'm gearing it towards a scarf okay but all it is is single crochets and slip stitch single crochets and slip stitches the only difference is you will have to work at another stitch on the back and I'll show you that to get this wonderful look going here and then the back of it is absolutely gorgeous too so it's in my opinion um, reversible okay so if you were wearing this as a scarf this side could be down and this side could be up on one side and it would look gorgeous okay so another thing if you're making it into a scarf or a place mark you can definitely leave these tassels on and they look great of course you could work them in as well okay so let's get into our materials so for your materials today I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook um, and I'm using mostly four weight yarn some of these colors I'm bringing in are three weight as well so your yarn choice and your hook choice is totally up to you. Just remember your hook choice and your yarn choice is either going to make your project smaller or it's going to make it bigger. Um, so uh, you might need a darning needle if you want to work in your ends. Otherwise, don't worry about it. And you will need a pair of scissors, okay? Now I'm using a bunch of little scrap yarns that I have here in this little bag. And um, that's what I'm using for these colors. It's great for scrap yarn that you have left around. And then I've got a gray base color that I'm using and it's just Red Heart Super Saver. Um, and it's, you know, just a gray yarn, okay? So let's get started on our tutorial. Now the way this has worked, if you want it to be um, a scarf, for instance, you're gonna start with the length that you need for the scarf. So you're gonna go all the way down, make a long, long chain for as long as you want your scarf to be, as long as you want your placemat to be, whatever you're gonna make this as, because this is gonna be worked back and forth and it's gonna go up. So if you want this pattern to stay like this, then you need to go up that way, okay? Also, your tassels will stay at the end of one side and the end of the other if you do it that way. So I'm gonna start with my base color, this pretty gray here. And I'm just gonna start off, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So we're just gonna start off with a, it doesn't matter your stitch count, um, but we're gonna start off with, let's say 15. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, then we're going to put a single crochet in each stitch all the way down. So you're going to go into the second chain from your hook. So not this one where your, your um, hook is at and not this one here, but the next one, the second chain, you're going to put a single crochet there, just like that. Now for any reason, I am deeming this beginner video, but if you don't know how to do any of the stitches, I have a totally beginner video below that you can look at. Okay, so just single crochets all the way down Okay, and after you do your last single crochet, and then after you do your last single crochet, you're actually going to go ahead and cut off 
this gray yarn over here. And we're gonna bring our color in on the other side. So you're gonna cut that off and you're just going to tie it in just like this, okay? So now we're gonna go right back over here and bring in our color. So I'm gonna take one of my colors. So I'll go right over here onto this side where we have our first single crochet and I'll bring in my other color. Make sure you leave enough for a tassel on the end, okay? Just bring that in and chain one and then you're going to do a slip stitch into this first stitch. And you're going to slip stitch all the way down. Try to make your slip stitches nice and loose, okay? So we're just putting slip stitches in every stitch all the way down. Don't forget this last one, just like that. And then you're going to cut off. Leave a long piece at the end, okay? And then you're going to pull in just like that, okay? Now we're going to turn our work over and this is what we're gonna see right here, okay? But we're gonna bring in our gray yarn back again. And we're gonna work right here. Now what we're gonna do is, is we're going to work into these um, back loops right here, okay? So that's what we're gonna work into. We're not gonna work into the whole stitch. So this is the only thing you need to remember about this. So we're gonna bring in our yarn, leaving a tail, just like that. And then you're going to single crochet and this back loop here. Okay, and that's going to leave all your work open. So it's going to leave those slip stitches open in the front. It's gonna leave these stitches open in the back so that they're easy to see. So as you can see right here, I'm working in these back loops of these V stitches right here. So in the back loops is where I'm putting my single crochets now. Just like this. Okay, and then after you do your single crochet in that uh, back loop at the end there, then you're gonna cut off again and we're gonna go back to the front. So we're gonna cut off, leaving a good piece there and just work it in. And then we're gonna go back to the front again and we're gonna bring out another color to slip stitch. So then I'm gonna go right here to this first stitch. I'm going to Bring it in with a chain one, and then I'm gonna go right into there and do a slip stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch all the way down, trying to keep them pretty loose and consistent. So now I'm working through both, under both of these loops here normally. We're just doing these slip stitches all the way down. So like I said, this is super easy. There is a lot of cutting, but like I said, it's not bad because you don't really need to work in your ends. Um, unless you're making a blanket or something out of this and you don't want tassels on it, then you would have to work them in. Okay, and then I'm going to again cut, leaving enough to make a tassel pull in, pull tight, and then we'll turn our work over again. Then we're gonna go back to our main color, our gray, and we're gonna be working into these back loops right here. So again, I'm going to pull in the gray right into this back loop. I will do a chain one to hold it into place. 
and then I will do a single crochet and all of these back loops across. And don't forget your last stitch here, which can be kind of hard to find because it's worked in there. So just find a place to get in where you can get through this back loop here. Just like that. And then again, you're going to cut off. Work your yarn in and then turn over. And then we're gonna do this one more time to show you so I'll bring in another color, and then I'll come right up here into my first single crochet, bring in my color with a chain one, and then I will start doing slip stitches all the way down. Remember to keep your slip stitches nice and loose. Not messy loose, but loose. And try to keep them as consistent as possible. So we work our slip stitches as normal under both parts of that V stitch there, all the way down. And then we cut off again, leaving enough to make our tassel, pull in, turn your work over, and now we're going to start with the gray again. Again, you're going to pull your gray into the back loop here, just like this, into the first stitch. Leave enough for a tassel, do a chain one, and a single crochet. Then single crochet into these back loops all the way down. Don't forget your last stitch. Make sure you work into the back loop, even if you have to pull this over a little bit. Okay, and then you will cut off again. And tie in. And then that is how you do this really fun, cool and easy stitch. It is literally just single crochet, so single crochets and slip stitches going all the way up. It works up pretty quick and then you're left with these beautiful tassels of all kinds of different colors with your main color mixed in with them. And when you're at the end, when you're working these in here, um, what I did was, and you can see it kind of looks a little bit more polished, is, and you don't have to do this, but what I did was, is I took each one of these that were two, so there's a gray and a red here, and I tied them together, okay? And that helped give it more of a polished look there at the end, and I'll do that twice. So normally what you do when you make tassels is you bring them in with a slip knot, um, but since you're not doing that, as you can see when I knot that, it makes it look a little bit more like that. And then I would do that with the next two colors and the next two colors. And then I would just, you know, use my fingers to hold them down and I would try to make them as even as possible when I got done with everything, okay? And then, of course, you will have a lot more than this when you're done, but then it'll make them even. And then you'll have a lot more. Here at the end, where we first started this one, we didn't have any tassel here because it was our first row. So all you have to do is add just a piece of gray yarn there to make a tassel there at the end to make it even. Also, if at any point you feel like it's a little bit, you know, scraggly, there's not enough there, you can add more pieces of gray yarn in between or your color yarn um, to make it look fuller with your tassels. So that's totally up to you. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you understood it. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Of course, you can ask below in the YouTube comments section. But if you're not comfortable with that, I also have a Gmail. I have an Instagram, a Facebook, and a TikTok. You can also go follow me on all those places, and I appreciate it. But you can definitely message me there as well. You can share your pictures of your finished work, which a lot of people do. And I love to see your work, okay? So thanks a lot, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notify me bell below if you haven't already. And please share these videos. That helps more than anything. And I'll see you soon. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.